Hey RVers, Steve here from Richards Motor Sales RV Centers and today I'm in Reading, Michigan with a Coachman Catalina Legacy Edition 2016 travel trailer. The floor plan is a 243 RBS and this is the smallest length the smallest overall length where, where we get a super slide room uh, put into a floor plan. They just get bigger from here so it's a great combination of open space and maneuverability and towing to get in and out of state parks and uh, tight campgrounds, changing lanes on the highway and so on. Um, Legacy Edition has a real aggressively pitched front nose for towing. Remember, drag or aerodynamics is 40% of, of the towing formula and weight is 60. So we do not have a square snub nose on this product. They've done a really good job with that. Uh, we have a power front tongue jack with integrated camp light. The front pass-through storage in the nose goes all the way through and there's no carpeting. This is bow floor plank wood linoleum to the other side. We are now uh, solar panel pre-wired. So we've got Furion has uh, supplied the parts and this is ready for an aftermarket solar And if you guys primitive or remote or rustic camp, like a lot of our folks do, this is a great fit for you because um, it'll. If we're off for the day, we don't we don't even need direct sunlight. Daylight will charge two batteries in about six hours. So when we get back from the day of hiking or sightseeing, we've got full power, 12 volt for the rest of the evening. Outside television hookup with dedicated speakers and. Um, outside AM FM DVD CD speakers by Jensen above it we can talk more about that later but they're a separate system which is really clever if we plug in a television the lower speakers are dedicated to that and that television of course would be under the awning that comes out eight feet here's our super slide room remember we're in the smallest length towable coachman makes in the Catalina series with a big slide and uh, this is called mocha decor and uh, very attractive. It's got baseball type stitching that stands out and a real nice pillow backed um, couch. Um, we have a booth dinette and underneath the booth we have a 38 inch storage drawer for pots and pans, electric skillets or overflow kitchen items and things. Um, facing forward in this unit, here's, here's where comfort takes on a whole new meaning. We have um, the ledge, ledge stone brick fireplace with a 5200 BTU electric heater built in. Very attractive. We can actually use this in July as backlight with flames and not have the heat uh, portion of this unit turned on of course. So it will add ambiance and backlighting all 12 months of the year. 32 inch HDTV is on a 12-inch uh, swing arm, so we'll turn out towards the sofa or wherever we want it to. It goes back in a locking position and snaps in place for travel. This is called a three-quarter wall, or this is what I call it. This is a three-quarter wall with a dedicated isolated side entry door to the master, as opposed to a dual entry. And when we do that, a couple things happen. We get a uh, 60 by 74 front queen bed with overhead storage and night Shirt closets on both sides. Nightstands are, are uh, below those with outlets and a uh, nice place to put our belongings. We do have air and heat in the bedroom. And the, the other bonus to a three-quarter wall is what we see on the left is we have additional storage that can tie in with a lot of different things. But a lot of times this is, again, overflow kitchen, outdoor kitchen items and so on. We have recessed overhead storage above the uh, sofa and then we have a panoramic picture window at the dinette set so we've got a great view. More tucked in, great use of space storage. We're looking towards the back. We have a rear bathroom and this is um, certainly can be our pantry as well. Very deep. It's 18 inches or a little bit deeper than that. And three shelves here, two shelves below it. It's a bank of four doors. Can be used for anything, but it's close to the refrigerator and cooking area. And uh, this is kind of one open room concept with a private front master. 
and a beautiful rear angled rear side bathroom. We have a foot pedal flush toilet, and because it's a couple's coach, we have a uh, glass shower enclosure, which is very nice finish, especially at this price point under twenty thousand dollars. Vanity sink, and they've changed the um, faucet and handles a little bit. They're chrome or stainless look. I remember ground fault outlets in a travel trailer quite often will this breaker will reset every outlet inside and outside of a travel trailer. If you're ever troubleshooting and you lose power to the outlets, check here first probably and over at the post where you're plugged in second and third probably at your breaker box. Um, so nice bathroom, medicine cabinet and so on. We do have air and heat in the bathroom as well. Here's a look rear to front. We have night fabric shades and um, thermofoil countertops. We have 5 8 plywood flooring and a 3 8 walkable roof decking. So it's an extremely durable, well-built, long-lasting, rugged travel trailer line for us. We don't see these return for warranty issues and little nitpicky things very often. It's been a fantastic partnership with, with Coachman and the Catalina Division for our, our two stores. So there's a quick look. Uh, push button power awning with lighted LED lighted um, light strip in the awning rather sorry and as all of our coachman's and our Salem products we have a dedicated purpose-built silverware drawer very nice there it is a uh, quick look at the 243 RBS coachman Catalina we stock these in Quincy Michigan and at our home office at the reading location as well Love to have you stop by and meet you, say hi, and show you the Coachman products. Thanks so much, and God bless.